Question number four. Here are some shapes made of squares. A fraction of each shape is shaded. Match each shape to its equivalent fraction. One has been done for you. Well, let's scroll down and take a look at all of the shapes. There we go. Well, you can see we've got seven tenths shaded in, and that's because there are ten squares here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And actually, only seven of them are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of ten shaded in. So all we've got to do now is do a similar sort of technique on the others. Well, we've got still got ten squares. In fact, all of these shapes have got ten squares. So we can just put out of ten next to each one. There we go. And now we can just count how many are shaded. Well, in the top shape, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that one's eight out of ten. Now, 8 out of 10 in any of the options, but remember, you can simplify this 8 out of 10. If you divide both the top and the bottom by 2, half of 8 is 4, and half of 10 is 5. So, 4 out of 5, 4 fifths, is the, with the same, it is an equivalent fraction to 8 out of 10. So, 4 fifths is the one that we need to join this shape to, which is down here. So, that one, we're going to get joined to 4 fifths. The next one we've just got one, two, three square shaded. So that's three out of ten. Can't simplify three out of ten, but three out of ten is here, look down at the bottom. So this one's going to get joined all the way down to the bottom. The third shape's already done for us. That one we've already said is seven out of ten. We've got two shapes left. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one's six out of ten. Again, 6 out of 10 isn't an option, but if we simplify this fraction to get an equivalent fraction, we're going to get 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So we have actually got 3 fifths. So 3 fifths is an equivalent fraction. So this one, we get joined to 3 fifths. Now, there is only one fraction left that hasn't been used, and that's this half here. Well, let's just double check. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 square shaded. So that's 5 out of 10, and 5 is half of 10. So it is going to end up being a half, but what you're actually dividing by to simplify it is you're dividing both top and bottom by 5, because 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. When you simplify it, you always try and divide both top and bottom number by the same number, by the biggest number that you can. And the biggest number that will divide into 5 and 10 is 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So your equivalent fraction to 5 tenths is a half. So if we join that one to a half, there we go. That's the question completed.